These are the parts of the MD gearbox that we're going to overhaul today. See, we've got the new parts here, all the seal assemblies. You've got the shaft and the bearings. This is a special tool, by the way, which we'll be showing you how you use. And you've got to make sure, obviously, that this gear is in good condition before you reuse it and the worm on the other part of the gear. So we're going to commence now with uh, rebuilding the gearbox. So I'll just get it on. So one of the first actions is we're going to put the burnings onto the shaft. Turns freely. And that's a smooth fit in the O's and if you've got a tight fit there's obviously something amiss so it should slide in nicely. Okay the next action is we're going to put in the circlet. Make sure you're wearing safety goggles for this action. So now you can see the circlips in position inside the housing. So the action now has been to put the keyway in. You've got to make sure it's nice and uh, level inside the keyway itself. So this should be quite an easy fit onto the shaft. If you have trouble getting it on then it's most likely you've got some sort of burr on the gear the keyway or the shaft itself and there's a retaining washer screw so just nip it up tight i'll pull the gear down the last bit of the way and uh, you're good to go to the next so these are the bearings and the shaft uh, with the seal assembly that we're going to assemble inside here now. So that's the next stage you're going to see. Okay, the next stage of the assembly is we're going to place the bearing inside the housing. It's a bit tricky, but you can get it in. You might find that you just have to tap the bearing in lightly to get it to seat. If it goes in off square, it can be quite difficult to uh, arrange that. So the next part now is we're going to put the shaft in. And that goes into the inner part of the burring. And then if you look at the mesh, you can see the meshing of the gear. And you just, again, you can just lightly tap that in and see it go down all the way. We've now got complete meshing of the gear. And we're just making sure it's seated on the burring itself. Okay, the next stage is to pop the other burring in. No particular way it needs to go good practice to have the numbers outside but you can just pop that in and finally the oil seal what we're doing is we're just using the old bearing just to seat the uh, oil seal down correctly and we're just going to tap it down oil seal down in its final position now and you can retrieve the burr retrieve the burr in you can go through the side and then just wiggle it till it comes out it shouldn't be a tight fit in there uh, but you can see now you've got the oil seal correctly centered and seated get the seal in uh, to the point where the circlet goes in the next action is fitting the circlet So for the seals, you've got three types. You've got solid ring, centre corned ring, and the final flat ring. Okay. Uh, you have to assemble correctly. But of course, this is in the parts list, isn't it? It shows you in the parts yeah. list how to put it together. So you shouldn't technically get it wrong, but obviously double check 
otherwise the sealing of the compressed air and, and moisture from the drum will just pass the seal instantly. And these can be fitted into the gearbox. So the whole package goes on together like that. And these are made out of Teflon. Steel retaining ring that goes on. And the spring. Okay, if you're in uh, the field, uh, we're going to show you a method that's using a hammer and a, a tool that actually sits inside of here and goes to the outer shoulder. So you get a good uh, you get a good effect pressing it. But of course, if you're in your own workshop, you might be better using uh, hydraulic press. You get it absolutely square first time. But we're going to we're, we're going to demonstrate using the uh, the hammer method. Okay, so make sure it's absolutely square. Okay, it's going to go down to the bottom. You'll see there's a little lip there. Uh, what we might do now as well, obviously, because it can actually chaff the edge, is we'll just check that edge before we put it onto the uh, shaft and then the hosing itself. So we've just uh, cleaned that up, haven't we? And uh, we're now just going to put an O-ring on it. You can put a bit of grease on there as well, which will help with the sealing. So before you actually fit this assembly uh, back in the machine, you should check that this gap has not uh, deviated inwards which will obviously be a problem when you have to put the pin into the uh, MD drum itself so just make sure that that's a nice fit okay we're just going to enter this down now onto the shaft through the bush it should be just a fairly smooth fit and now we're going to put the four screws in seats down into the bottom and then what we're going to do is pull it back down completely against the spring tension with the four screws okay, so we're just tightening the uh, four screws now just nip them down So if, if we look at the new and old seal com by comparison, you can see the old seal here has got rather worn. They sometimes rip on this edge. Once it does that, it starts letting moisture back down the center and it gives you more, more problems. So the new seal is now going on. It's just a push on fit. designed just to push the moisture away from going down the shaft and into the gearbox itself. So this, when you try to turn this gear, it'll be quite difficult uh, because, of the, because of the design of the gear. So normally you would only be able to turn it uh, from, from the shaft. You can see now the shaft inside it's only possible to move it with that you can't do it by just trying to turn that so don't think there's anything wrong just just check it with the screwdriver on that end that everything's free moving just a point on fitting the cover each one of these is a copper seal because you've actually got uh, oil in the gearbox that you fill it up with so we don't put any oil in at this stage we only fit put the oil in after we've fitted the cover and uh, we fit a new gasket on the cover as well Okay, so you fill in the oil through this part here and the way it works is when you get to this line inside the gearbox that's sufficient oil don't overfill it and of course don't forget to put the oil in or you'll have a very short life of the gearbox itself.